And welcome back from that break. Of course, uh, we have our first guest who is in the studio talking about Project Save a Youth. Um, I, I'm sure you know um, a lot of things are going on around us, even with the videos we see on social media about kids and the youth taking some unknown substances or substances that you might know, but with code names, you might not really understand what they are taking. I'm talking about retinol, uh, refinol, spinol, and all of those things. But, um, Did you say the, spinol? Swinol. Okay. Spinol. 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 Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I know. There's DJ Spinol. No, sorry. no. Is this something <laughs> that they are <laughs> taking? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, we have a guest coming in to talk about this. And he's championing the, the course, hashtag Project Save Youth. He is Ovi Manuel Kuponu. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, so, Nigeria. So let's talk about the, the fact that you decided to go, you know, champion this course. Or something um, not the personal experience but uh, what I have seen in our communities mm. across uh, board now uh, I started out as a community uh, let me say a citizen journalist okay. I started a community newspaper in 2006 and that offered me the opportunity to enter into the nooks and crannies of uh, a lot of places especially on the Lagos Badagri corridor and uh, I realized that access to dangerous substances hmm. and uh, these things are having a kind of effect on their lives. And uh, we decided that how do we change this trend and make these guys get them back on track, you understand, and help them find themselves, find destiny and purpose and help them become better citizens. And that's what brought about the idea of Project Save a Youth. And you told me that Save a Youth uh, requires some, some resources, both in manpower and uh, funds and all that. So we decided that we're going to begin to talk to elites, talk to people who are in positions or who mm. have done well for themselves to actually look at a particular young person and see what we can do to help that person out. So it is not basically about drugs, but it's about all the social vices young, yeah, that affect young people. And, and um, obviously you must have, um, the, through your experience, uh, the certain level of research must have been done. Yeah. Um, what, 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 what area uh, of these or which of these vices are more predominant among the youth? Right now, that brings it to drug abuse. Drug abuse is prevalent mm -hmm. because people, young people are despair, they're frustrated. So they think to get all this stress off their head, they just have to do some things or take some substances mm -hmm. to feel relieved. Uh, forgetting the fact that taking drugs will not solve your problems. And uh, it's worse amongst uh, guys who come from poor homes, backgrounds, yeah. poor homes, working class homes, people whose parents are struggling to put food on the table, yeah. people whose parents are taught that, oh, my son will become 10 years, and this is the son, uh, somewhere in, uh, within the uh, banana trees, mm. smoking weed, uh, taking refnor, Tramador, they've codenamed all these drugs to the extent that someone can actually sit beside you and be talking to a guy that, guy, I need coke. You'll think he's talking about the soft drink. You'll mm. say, oh, I, uh, I, have, I have candy, do you care? So, you so how many, um, briefly, how, how do you, I mean, are there, are there cases that you can able to rectify and which would also bring us down to the event that is coming up. Yes. Well, uh, had, the first of, are there cases that have been sorted? And hence, what, what does that event want to achieve, okay. the event coming up? Now, what we, we have noticed, uh, identified the problem, and we have designed a solution path. And one of it is that those that we have identified, mm. we have put them on our list. Now, in the next uh, quarter of the two, yeah. that's our major assignments, 100 young people, dropouts, 
not drop out from universities and polytechnics now, secondary mm. schools. Okay. People who are supposed to be the future of this country. So what we are doing right now is that, okay, uh, how do we raise funds? How do we get people to be involved in this? We now realize that, okay, let's, let's do something. And what are we doing? We put a compendium together. That compendium uh, is a compilation of stories, life stories, resumes, you understand, of people who have actually come out of that same background on the Badagri Corridor, who were once youths, despite their poor background, despite being children of the poor, have been able to pull through and become people who are meaningful, you understand, and useful to the society today. So we put those uh, profiles together in a, in a book, a compendium, that we are, we are going to unveil it on Sunday. And uh, why we want to do that is we That's want the, the the voice yes the voice, the voice uh, 15th anniversary okay the voice is a newspaper I mentioned earlier yes. uh, yeah it's a newspaper that covers events stories about the communities so what's the theme of the event the theme of is of the event is save a youth. youth okay and then you're going to be showcasing the, the resumes of all yes to random people or there are some specific people that are going to be there or are there going to be people that are also undergoing the rehabilitation going to be present as well yes those who are under the youths are going to be there too because we can't gather ourselves to talk about the youths in their absence yeah. so the youths are going to be there those that we have identified are going to be there but also we're going to have uh, the distinguished uh, personalities who whose resumes we have published they are also going to be in attendance and we have people like the former deputy governor of Lagos State. In fact, we, the, the, that region produced two former deputy governors, Princess Adebisi Shoson and uh, Dr. Idiat Adebule. Mm -hmm. We have the group managing director, the former group managing director of Flower Mills, it's also from a diagram, Paul Gwedido. You understand? Mm -hmm. We have um, the president of the Nigeria Microfinance uh, Association. Uh, that's uh, Mr. Valentine Wensu. So they were of, all yes, drug addicts at the time and then they grew out of that? Yes. Oh, wow, well, no, 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 not no, that they were drug addicts. Drug addicts. But, they yeah. came from that, background. from that background. Okay, from the Badagri background. background. Yes. Okay. So our idea is, you, if you think you are taking drugs mm. because you there's do, nothing. there you is nothing, you are wrong. Don't let your background put your back on the ground. Hmm. Wisdom. So let's talk, in, talk, let's talk uh, briefly about the awards. Yes. Yes, that is supposed to be handed today. Yeah. Talk a bit about that. Yes, uh, the award is, we look at organizations and a few people who are actually doing well. Mm. Well in the sense that when we look at the Badagri area, Badagri is more of a tourist destination. Yes. And uh, for instance, we have on our list Silverbed today, this particular program. And uh, we noticed that this program has been promoting tourism over the years. Yes. And that is what Badagri is known for. So if there is a station in Nigeria that is promoting tourism, and there is a place in this same Lagos that is known for tourism, mm -hmm. then we, there should be a kind of synergy so that by the time the consciousness <coughs> of the Nigerian uh, population is awakened to the potentials of tourism in Lagos and Badagri yeah. specifically, yeah. there can be improvements. So we believe in the voice that for Badagri to develop yeah, and need become, to, yeah, we need right. collaborations, right. we need to move out, yeah. out of our comfort yeah. zone, right. reach out and talk more. No, but definitely, we are always here. We'll be, yeah, of course. I'm sure we won't be at the event. Yeah. yeah. Thank but you. thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. We thank appreciate you so much. your drive. Yeah, thank you. Yes. And then the awards that are going to be given, are, are you giving the awards here on the show or at the day of the, at, of at the, the event? Day of okay, the that's event. fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, guys, you heard it. Um, I think it's always great to join a movement or humanitarian services whenever you can. And thank you for the acknowledgement of Silver Bear today. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go on a short <laughs> break <laughs> and. When we come back, we have two interesting guests coming through, but the first one would be about the food that I've been singing all day. We want a short break and we'll be right back.